Okay, so a couple of weeks ago, something that happens every year in the UK started, and that thing is a show called Love Island. Now, if you live outside the UK and or don't own a Fiat 500, I wouldn't expect you to know much about this show. Actually saying that, Love Island's literally all I see on my Twitter now. But if you don't know what it is, in essence, it's a reality show where people get, like, coupled up and last one standing wins, I guess. I, I don't know. I just got that from looking at the Love Island Wikipedia for about five seconds. So I, I could be wrong. I've honestly never seen the show myself because I rather eat gravel. But from what I've heard, it's, it's a pretty thought-provoking entertainment. Like, they discussed everyone's favourite topic, Brexit. What do you think about Brexit? What, what's that? Like, I Where we're <laughs> leaving the European Union. So does that mean we won't have any trees? Yeah, Brexit means Brexit. Get the trees out. Honestly, my, my brain cells are fleeting just watching this. I, I want to know the thought process of how we get from leaving the EU to all trees in the country being eradicated. Like, as if before we joined the EU, trees in this country just weren't a thing. Doesn't it mean it would be harder to, like, go to, like... Spain and stuff. So it'll be harder yeah. to go on holidays? Yeah, I yeah. think so. It's like watching Parliament discuss this is. Well, I was watching BBC News here for a sec. But on the Love Island channel, there's a few videos where the contestants get to, like, introduce themselves to the audience and get to tell them a bit about themselves. And, uh... <laughs> Uh, a lot of it's uh, pretty cringe and uh, I don't use that word lightly. Now some of the contestants in their introduction video I guess they were asked to describe themselves as an emoji and give a reason why and it goes how you probably expect it to. If I was gonna be an emoji I would be the aubergine because I have a big wang. Uh, lads, 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 lads. Like, it's Love Island. It's a given that when they ask the contestants to describe themselves as an emoji, at least one of them would go, lol, I'm the aubergine because I have a big willy. The emoji that best describes me is an angel because I'm an angel. The emoji that best describes me is an angel because I'm an angel. That, that's some great reasoning. Like, that's just one up from saying I describe myself as the woman emoji because I am a woman. <laughs> and then in between sections of their introduction videos, they just break into some kind of Fortnite boogie down challenge. Like, do you reckon there was even any music in the studio when they were doing that? I'd mark myself as a 9.999 out of 10. I'm pretty damn perfect. Now, as you can see, this is a very humble and modest bloke. He only rates himself a 9.999 out of 10. And then goes on to say uh, he's pretty damn perfect. Like, I, I thrive to be as humble as this man. Imagine being this good looking and a self-proclaimed 9.999 out of 10. And allowing people to look at you on their TV for free. Like, you should be charging for people having to look at you. You're a godsend. The sliding in my DMs is probably something that happens every single day. I get girls messaging me through Instagram. Oh, yeah, obviously. Like, at this point, he's just sucking himself off, isn't he? Also, why have all these people just got their Instagram scrolling in the background? Like, they're all just embarrassing themselves because no Instagram is as good as the memeless Instagram. That's just a fact. I love Harry Potter. I've got Hermione Granger's wand tattooed on my forearm. If a girl is lucky on a night out, she may be able to come back and see my wand. Oh, oh. God. Please don't tell me he voluntarily said that himself. The show must have given him that line to say because there's no way a functioning human would actually say that without being told to. Unironically, at least. People would be most surprised to know about me is that I used to box. Um, I'll get Hang on, where's his shirt gone? Why did you just cut to a clip of him topless? I like, just sitting there like, oh yeah, people would be most surprised to know about me. Bang! If I was down to the last £10 in life, I'd probably buy some hair gel or something. Oh, yeah, not buy food or water to survive. Hair gel, obvious choice. To be fair, this is Love Island. I, I, I don't know what kind of answer I was expecting. Well, literally, I've got every single pen that you can think of. Oh, every single pen I can think of? Well, mate, you're getting me a bit wet here. Well, my dogs, they're like, I'm like their dad. Like, they're like my children. I literally just look at them and think, oh, I love yous. I'm pretty sure that's every pet owner ever. Like, when have you ever looked at your dog or cat and just thought, oh, I fucking hate you? If I was down to my last £10, I'd probably buy my favourite pizza. Was just a wire. Okay, he has pineapple on pizza. Vote him out. I don't even watch the show. I don't really know what he's like. But he has pineapple on pizza. Surely that's a big enough giveaway. Vote him out. I wasn't allowed to work with the women at one point because when we was hiring the women, I used to end up sleeping with them. They're, in, they're actually being kept in a separate room to us now. Okay, so this guy shagged so many girls at his work that they actually had to be moved to a different room so that he wouldn't shag them. Top shagger mentality. <laughs> like, you're not a true top shagger unless every female at your work has been evacuated to another room out of fear that you shag them. The big the thing that I bring to a relationship is loyalty. Surely that's just like one of the basic things expected in a relationship. Saying you bring loyalty to the relationship is like saying I will bring not kicking in your head to the relationship. The emoji that best describes me, the emoji with its tongue out. 
crazy one, really. Oh, well, th this guy's a mad one. Okay, let me just say this now. No one who says they're crazy is ever actually crazy. Like, the maddest people I've met in my life are completely oblivious to how crazy they are. It's usually actually the people who describe themselves as crazy that are the least crazy people I know. Three words that describe me in the bedroom. Good. Uh, great adjective. Can really tell you've been flicking through your thesaurus. I would say I'm a 10 out of 10. Maybe a 9 out of 10. I'm not good at washing the dishes. Oh, well, well that's very modest of you. Also, he's knocking off a whole point for not being able to do the dishes. If you knock off a point for every basic household chore you can't do very well, I'll probably be like a minus 42. But uh, th that's the end of the introduction videos. And I must say, I'm thoroughly looking forward to the sponsored Insta post promoting booty or some teeth whitening product that all of these people are undoubtedly going to do in a couple of months time. Like legit, in three months time go on any of these people's Instagrams and just see how many of them are promoting teeth whitening products or some weird tea thing. I put good money on every single one of them doing it. Right, but anyway guys, that is the end of today's video and I hope you did enjoy. If this video gets 60,000 likes, I'll go on Love Island and try and find a wife. Yeah, as I said, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, be sure to subscribe and smash that like button.